Now let's create a simple uh, class under test so that we have something to test. So I'm going to be creating um, this. I have this uh, example that I created. I'm going to call it math utils. It's basically a bunch of math util classes, right? You need a class to test, and I'm going to be creating a class. I'm creating it in io dot Java brains, and uh, the name of the class is math utils. It's going to have a bunch of uh, utility functions, utility methods for adding numbers, subtracting numbers. Uh, multiplying, dividing, and so on. Very complicated stuff that we need to write utilities for. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, let's see. I'm going to have public int add takes in two numbers int b. Then it returns. a plus b. All right. Now, this is my method, and I want to test it. I don't want to have too much of complications over here because our focus is testing, right? So let's say somebody has written this method and given it to you and say, I have this perfect add method. They want you to test it. So how do you go about writing your unit test? This could be anything else, any other uh, class in your code base, and you're saying, okay, now I need to start writing a unit test. How do you go about it? Eclipse has ways in which you can do this. There are two ways you can do it, right? One is do write the class yourself, and then the second way is to use the features of the IDE. So I'm gonna use the features of the IDE and I'm gonna tell you what to do if you have to write the class yourself. Ideally, when you're writing the class yourself, you create a class in SRC test Java. You notice here all Maven projects have SRC main Java and SRC test Java. There are two kind of paths two kind of containers where your code resides. SRC main Java is going to contain your main code, your application code, and SRC test Java is going to contain all your test cases. So when you're writing a JNN test, it's going to be a simple Java class, which is going to reside in SRC test Java. If I use the IDE support for it, guess what it's going to do? It's going to put the Java class in SRC test Java. So I'm going to right click here, and then our, maybe I can do this here, new, and then here you see it has a JUnit test case option, right? So I'm right-clicking on the class that I want to write a test for and then choose JUnit test case. And here is a nice window which helps to kind of provide all your options, whatever you need here. So let's see, we have um, the source folder where this test has to go. You notice it's gone to SRC test Java. You can change it and put it anywhere else, but the recommendation is, at least in the Maven project, put it under SRC test Java. The package name is usually going to be the same as the package of the main uh, code that you want to test. Why do you do this? Because you get to leverage, first of all, it's an organizational convenience, right? So you know exactly what the code is testing, but then also you get to leverage the package uh, visibility features of Java. So you get access to, in your test class, you get access to the protected methods in your class under test. So protected is one way people have been using uh, for quite some time. Create a method that's accessible to your test so that you can test it, but then it's not accessible to the outside world when it's not in that same package. So it's kind of a hack, but then it's kind of the convention to add your tests in the same package as your original code. So the same package, the name of the test is the name of the class under test with the word test appended to it. Again, this is common convention. Um, I want to highlight this top row over here. You see, there are three options that you can choose. JUnit knows how to create tests with uh, JUnit 3, JUnit 4, or JUnit Jupyter. Okay, we are interested in JUnit Jupyter, and that's what we're going to be using. And uh, Class under test is this, math utils. And then are there any other options? Well, no, there's nothing else. All right, so we have this, and then I'm going to click next and finish. Now I have um, my test class here. This is a simple Java test class. Like I said, you can pretty much write this test class over here, create a new Java class, and write this out. This is exactly the same as what 
eclipsed it. There's no magic to what eclipsed it. I just put this class here with this pre-filled code. So let's look at what this does. It's a class, MathUtils test, and it has one method. The method is called test. Doesn't matter what the name of the method is. And it has this one line here called fail. Um, I'm gonna remove this. I'm not gonna do fail yet. I'm just gonna do uh, system.r.println. simple system.r.println. And this is a separate class. It doesn't have a main method, right? So one of the things that JUnit platform provides is a way for you to run your tests. And in order to run your tests, JUnit needs to know what your tests are. The way to tell JUnit, hey, this is my test, is by putting this annotation here called at test. When you run a Java program, how does Java know what method to run? It runs the main, right? The public static void main. So here, you put this annotation here and JUnit knows it needs to run this method. 